start the recording and hello YouTubes, I'm Grimwit. This this is Spectacle and with me is Doomlad. Let's get back into it. Um Fuck this puzzle. <laughs> what does it want? That's exactly what it like it's at its brightest, right? So hmm. Yeah. Is it bugged? Although this, this feels like something where it's such a simpler game that bugs are rarer and rarer the simpler a game gets. Yeah. We have a sun coin, a moon coin, two scrolls. I'm gonna read these scrolls again real quick. Drop my satchel somewhere. That's probably under the rock that we found. Oh, the satchel was the sun and moon coin that we found yeah. in the uh, poppy field, I think. Okay, wish upon such a glorious star and reflect upon the celestial glory. That's got to be like, okay, water in that round hole has got to be the answer to that. Yeah, I think so as well. You know, the falcon didn't come out at night. I wonder if the piranhas sleep at night too. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's try it. So we know in the desert, apparently, there's the remains of a king, and there's a jewel. Yep. The bottle. The bottle is the answer to capturing this thing. Gotta be. Yeah, it could be. And there's this foot. Yeah, I think there's something afoot with it, too. Well, it looks like some giant got defeated. I'm out of puns. How about you? Yep. Just puts me back here. Yeah. Well, um, Cocro Sinkhole. I just realized that all of these things have names. Yep. Jasmine That's Waterfall. That's writing down on the map, or at least a shortened version of them. Yeah. There's another firefly. Oh, yeah. yeah. We could throw lit matches at it or something. Oh, okay, that just goes here. Mm -hmm. Did you say that? Yeah, it's not here during the uh, during the night time. Yep. It occurs to me that I've only been at this store during the daytime. Maybe I have to be there at night. Maybe. We could also head back to the palace, because there was the sun door that we never got through. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? Um, because timing is important, and I, wanna, I don't want to waste time. <laughs> it looks like she's dancing. <laughs> Loading. 
Okay, it is currently 1.30. I bet I could make it back to the palace before sunrise. Okay, it is now 3.30. Okay, it's five o'clock. The sun rises at seven. Oh, what the fuck? Nice. What is this only open during the nighttime? The fucking hell. I think it's only open during like the early day or something. Maybe. Spiral staircase leading up to the second floor. There is a s spandrel beneath. What is a spandrel? I don't know. Small wooden door here. There's a banner hanging here loosely. Cracks. Open this door. Oh, you open a small door revealing a storage space beneath the staircase. And look, there's like uh, at least five of the commandments. So uh, my brother had informed me that Moses actually received something like 300 commandments but only 10 of them were for, like, normal people. Huh. Maybe this is one of those 300. Stone in the crawl space. Okay, well, let's take it. It's a Rosetta St. I'm sorry, Rosetta St. Hi. Hey, we can use this to learn magic or some shit. I don't know. Yep. The tablet covered in various symbols used to decipher magical text written in a long dead language. That ass. Go upstairs. Oh, that's the blue fire. Appears to be a ritualistic hall with a bonfire, perhaps used for sacrificing materials, goods, in exchange for knowledge from the gods. Should, should I throw a coin in it? Um, fire blazes as menacing fire, fiery figure forms in front of you. The apparition is still, but could strike at any sudden movements are made. You can feel its heat from across the room. I guess we'll talk to it. In an instant, the fiery creature engulfs you in flames that burns both your body and your soul to nothing. How would, how would I know? Oh, there was a thing warning you about the blue fire. That is true. We 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 removed it from its scale. Oh, is that when we're supposed to like fuck? Okay, we either throw the moon coin in, or we wait until the moon is there to burn it away, right? Because that's what the instructions said. No. Nope. Fuck. Um. We have more reason to fuck around. <laughs> During the night time. Well, let's, let's learn some spells. Alright, well, we got the results. To learn them. I want to take another look up here. Oh, god damn it, he's still here? Alright, well, you're just going to be there for a while. Um, There's one in the uh, classroom over there. Yeah, here we go. Alakazam! You read the text. Q. Q reading the text. No. Nope. Those in high society have learned to use illusions to conceal paths. To reveal the way, they need only speak a powerful word. Alakazam! Ooh. You've learned the, the spell. Alakazam! I guess we'll have to play with that. So, if I, hang on, if I actually use Alakazam now, because this is supposed to be a hidden path, right? No. Yeah. Nothing happened. Okay, no go. Um, desert, maybe? Well, let's, let's go spell maybe hunting. desert. Yeah. Hang on, there, there's at least two other spells that I know of. Yep. Yep, there's this one at the compass. 
Um, oh. I only have this one and the uh, entrance one marked down, so. Oh, you're actually keeping track? Badass. Yeah, I drew up, I drew, drew up a map. Oh, holy shit. Uh, it's probably very grid. It right? is. Yeah. Okay, um. Let's use the Rosetta Stone on this writing. You read the text. Time passes too slowly for some, so a clever sort devised a method of forwarding time. The shout of the magic word, Saf. One can jump forward through time and achieve their goals sooner. You have learned the spell. Saf. Ah. That brings me back. Nope. Turns out her name was Magic all along. Stupid. What time does the Falcon come around? Because that might be important. Daytime. Right now it's 1.30. Nope. Okay. And this is the only other spell I know of. Nope. You read the text. Frustrated with the time's unending march forward, a clever vizier devised a word to put a stop to the flow of time. Temporarily defying time with the magic word, Overload Clock. The spell does not freeze the world, it simply stops the hours from passing. You have learned the spell. Overload Clock. <laughs> That's, I, I, that's a name. Let's try Alakazam here. Hmm. Good point. Uh, let's try it on the place where the door actually used to go. Nice try! <laughs> 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 the spell didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, okay, this person has has made has run a D and D uh, game. Yep. <laughs> Ab absolutely. Um, okay, so another thing we can try is trying Alakazam on the desert. Oh, what about the door up in the, uh, the monastery? Oh, that's a, that's a good point. Up to the east. East? There's no... Oh, you mean east. Up is east. Okay, yeah, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, it messes with me a bit, too. Spell didn't do anything. Okay, I'm guessing this is for the desert. Let's try, um, I think, O'Clock. So right now, it is 15.30. Let's use O'Clock. And see what happens. So right now, it's 15.30. It is still 15.30. So it's still 15.30. So that's four. That's five. That's six. Does it just keep going? Seven until... Okay, eight. eight. So it is now 1600. Go into the desert. And let's use Alakazam here. Spell didn't do anything. Huh. Oh. Huh. Um. It reveals. Okay, speeds up time, which I guess I'll try that one next. So right now it is 1700. And now it is 2300. Ah, so four hours. No, that's six hours. Oh, right. Um, well, it's too... Well, no, hang on. Um. Huh. I thought it would be open by now. 
because it's nighttime, but I guess night doesn't have anything to do with it. I, I think it's only open in the early morning. Huh. Um, I guess we just gotta keep an eye out for spells now. Yep. And we know that 2100 is when the moon at least seems to be at its brightest. Yep. Which, god damn it. <laughs> I guess wander around a little bit so more. So we need to use the thing to pass time in the, uh, behind the sun door, and then we can use the moon coin to slay the blue fire or something. So, 2.30. If I use Saf, it'll be 8.30. That might be too... Hmm. I want to try stuff. Okay, it's 4.30 now. It opens at 6 o'clock. Nope. Okay. So it's... This thing is destroyed by the moon, right? Yeah, I think so. So we gotta ma wait for... If I fast forward, it'll be 12.30. If I fast forward again, huh. And it'll be 18. Okay, it is now 12.30. So if I fast forward now... Um... That's right, it's gonna be twi 20 hours... Hang on, hang on. Um, let's cast... Yeah, now you move back and fast forward. Yeah, let's cast Saf, and then I move back and forward again, and that should do it. Love you, but I'm gonna get to eat and watch mini Walking Dead shows. Okay. Bye, Blue. Love you. See ya. Hey, there's the moon. Yep. Also, I'm just gonna, like... Flick a moon coin at it. Nope. Mm. But it should rewind me to the previous room. Yep. Okay, yep. There's, there's, what time is it? Uh, it is uh, twenty. Oh, it's not twenty-one yet. Oh God. This will zip it to an hour and get no. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. Um, what is that? There is a grate here to the room below. Nothing but air could fit through a small gap. Like, not even a coin? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting there's, like, an evil monster there. Nope. <laughs> Well, shit. Oh. Get it? It can only be blown away by air going through that grate. Ah. Well wishes under the brightest moon to snuff out the inferno without fail. We need to open the... Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah, now that makes sense. So, now we have to figure out how to open the well. Then... Yep. On the full moon, at about, what did we say, like 2100 or 21 hours. Yep. And the timing has to be good. Damn it. Yep. 
Okay. Yeah, that's an extra dimension. It makes things a bit more challenging. So now the question is, how do you open the well? Um, hmm. Oh, let's examine it, see if there was anything we've missed. Uh, what if we do Alakazam? Huh. Not a bad idea. No. Although it's meant to highlight hidden paths. So maybe not. No. How to open a well. Um, I don't really have anything to pry stuff open. <clears> hmm. <throat> we may not have what we need for these chains. Stupid BDSM geocache, but we are making progress. Yep. I still want to close. Now I'm keeping an eye out for spells. What was that? What was what? There was something when I walked in here that was on this post right here that it just kind of flew upwards and I didn't really get a chance to see it. Oh, it, it was a bat, I think. Oh. effect on the compass. Wishful thinking. We still have uh, this piece of fruit here. Yep. A few molten feathers sitting on the ground near the base of the tree. Take the feathers. No, take the feathers. Oh, I can't take that. Nope. Part of the tree looks more vibrant and alive than the petrified trunk. Quite curious. I wonder... I wonder if during sunrise something happens here. Yeah. It's 3.30 now. Let's make it 4.30. Sunrise is at what? 6? Yeah, something like that. Okay, it rises at 7. So if I go forward, it'll rise. And then if I go backwards, will the fruit do anything? Molten feathers. What does that mean? Maybe we need a bird to get this? Yeah. Oh, molted. Or that the bird come here. Yeah, molted. So, at some point, a bird comes here, probably pecks at the fruit, and then we get it. Get it. Yeah. Getting tired of me? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's just the part of the game where it's not much going on. Yeah, it's all puzzling, and now it's just sort of figure out shit, wander around at that point. And this is true of, like, this is like a smaller version of, of uh, Shadowgate, right? Yeah. Because in Shadowgate, you would have these moments where you'd have everything you can think of, and then you start rubbing everything against everything else in hopes that you, you just on accident come up with an answer. Somehow I don't think the coins will do anything or the scrolls. There is that uh, 
There is the idea of maybe trying to get something through the desert. Yeah, you're right, that is a bat. Trying to see how long we have. Six. You can move six spaces yep. and then you die. Well, if we wanted to go directly south of the palace, that would involve going up twice. Yeah. But we did that, and nothing happened. And there, there's the whole thing of, like, what do the paths mean? What do the doors mean? Um, uh, and... Actually, right before the palace, it looks like there should be a path to go north. Right before what? Yeah. Or not north, but uh, east. Let me see. Kind of see how it goes off to the east? Well, yeah, that's where that's the direction to the palace. No, I meant on the palace itself. You go oh. up one. Um, that's the door. I think it's trying to say that the door is to the south. So we've ended up on the north side of the palace somehow. Its perspective is wonky yeah. in this, is the thing. Yeah, I, I meant the, the path kind of going up and around. Oh, huh. The palace. Try it. Doesn't lead anywhere. You oh, can't well. go there. That's a that's not not a path you can take. Huh. You know what? Um it had said that there was a path through the trees back where we had started. Yep. Oh, I can't go Alakazam. Didn't do anything. Yeah, you can just go north. Well, I can go... Uh... But, like... There are path through the poppies that I can't see. Huh. I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm also getting to that point where it's just like, what do I do? Oh, that star's different. Yeah, it is. It's orange. Beautiful red poppy flower. No, but there's a star there. Does it scroll up with the moon? Yes, it does. What does it mean? Whoa, now it's bigger. Yep. I suspect that'll come in handy later. Yeah, perhaps. All right. What do we got? We've got a monastery with a closed door. So, or, uh, I'm sorry, west of that, we have a bottle that's on the other side of Piranha. Um, yep. We have this poppy field full of falcons. You know, that's got to be what the fruit... The fruit is there to attract the falcon. That's what the molten, molted feathers means. That falcons eat this I stuff. I think so. So that's probably what that's for. So now it's just a matter of how do you get that fruit. The... Yep. I, I am certain, I don't know how it happens, but I'm certain that that pit to the west has to be filled with water and then the sun will reflect off of it. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me too. Um, let's see, I don't know what's up with the foot. 
we need to figure out how to open the chains on the well. And that's the next part of yep. that puzzle. And then finally, we don't know anything about the desert. Just, we know nothing about the desert. Yeah. We could just randomly wander around the desert and die a lot until we find it. That's kind of a boring way to do things, though. Did they... Was, did we miss any hints about the desert? I've got a weird idea. What if the well opens when the wall closes? Hmm. We gotta get in there first. Yeah. Okay, and now let's uh, cast Saf. If I leave, it will close, right? Yep. Yep, all right. That's a no-go, sorry. Um. Yeah. Let me read this again. Okay, the lock is buried deep in the southern land. Maybe that's what this triangle key is for. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we, we found the key with his satchel. With the... Didn't we? I think we did. Um... Yeah, it, maybe. Well, the, no, wait. We found the key with the scroll too, didn't we? Yes, we did. For the satchel. Okay, so this key... It was buried in the mud flats. This key goes to the southern lands. Then. That's what that's about. Yep. So I that's should... probably the desert. So that's where you get the cosmic not. jewel. So that's the desert has the cosmic jewel. We'll go to that. The hidden jewel will not tempt the odd keeper from abandoning its post of protecting what remains of the dear king. So that this entire scroll is about what's going on in the south. Yep. Okay, this just opens during sunrise. Got it. Because it's early morning. Yep. Okay, fine. That explains... Hey, what is that? There's a gem set into the eye carving. It does not appear to be fastened in place. I take it? Ooh, nice. There we go. You reach up and easily pluck the gem from its socket. Are there others like that? I don't think so. Progress. Opaque gemstone with a round front and a flat back. Huh. Have I been missing those? Take the spanner. I oh! So. Oh, another spell. All right. We're making progress again. Yep. Brain has started moving. You read the text. Pirate of manual labor, a commoner sought to create his own simple spell. Reflect on the word and you will know its purpose. Yeah. You, yeah, you learned the spell. How do you pronounce that? Yeah. Nyach. Are we doing the guttural C? Nyach. No. Nope. Gosh, I could not gather what this spell could possibly be for, Doom Lad. What? What do you think it means? Is it some kind of ma magical? Sounds like some sort of animal. It's. It is surely. Surely we will never know. I'm gonna need to spend. It is a tragedy. Yeah, I'm gonna need to shovel time out of whack. Hang on a second. They're using Saf to mess with time.
Okay, okay. Uh-huh. There we go. With the magic word, you command the chains to rise, opening the well. A flick toss with a flick, you toss the moon coin into the magic of the well. Suddenly a rush of mystical air erupts from the well and forces of with the force of a hurricane. So, wow. um, I wonder how long that lasts. I mean, I, I don't have a moon coin. I assume it lasts forever now. Wait, it looked like it gave you the option to go into the well. Oh, no? What? Oh, yeah, it does. Huh. Well, let's, uh, because this sounds like it's going to hurt. Let's save. <laughs> Time to make bad decisions. You ride the wind and slam into the ceiling. You smash your head and die. God damn it. Doom lad. That was a bad idea. <laughs> well. But it's good to know that it's there. Okay, so now we need to go to the morning. Um, This might not be enough time, but let's go ahead and try and use Saf again. Mm-hmm. It's 4.30. Okay, that's still blowing. Yep. There we go. All right. Yay, we got rid of the flame beast for no reason. I don't even know why I did that, but I did it. Magical gust you get from whatever the magic item is in the the uh, chalice. Oh, I I guess so. Yeah. The magic gust from the well extinguishes the flame and dispels the creature. Come on, scroll of repair magic instrument. That would be good. It appears to be a ritualistic hall with a bonfire, perhaps used to sacrifice materials and goods in exchange for knowledge of the gods. No. Nope. Um Open open the chalice in the palace. Get the vessel in the pestle. What is all this shit? Why did we do that? Wait, that looks like a door there, you see? On the wall? Huh. There's an outline of a wall on the far end of the room. Hey! Your voice booms with the might of the spell. The illusion is gone and the path forward can be seen. Hey. Good eye. Yep. Wow, okay, we got stuff here. Yep. Uh, let's see here. A curved sword used by warriors in battle. It's very sturdy with a strong blade. Well, I'll just be having that off of you. Uh, what is this? Large dining plate with many fancy jewels set above the rim. You wonder if anyone could actually eat off of it. I'll take that. A deco plate. Bookshelf is lined with rotten books. How very unfortunate. That sounds like a U line, do you no. Clouds of the wall tiles don't line up with the rest of the wall. Uh, huh, huh, okay. Primitive tool used to mark calculations. That, yeah. Oh, we can grab the abacus. Now right, we're taking that. There's a large desk in the room. Many scholars have gained much knowledge here. What is this on the bottom? There's an eye shaped oh, socket. Oh, in there. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? There we go. It fits perfectly into the slot with the click. The drawer slides open. Well, just, I can clearly see a book would take the book. You reach and take out the large tome. It's very heavy and ex excellent condition. You place it on the desk. I guess I gotta open it first. You open the book to a page that has been conveniently bookmarked with a key. Well, I'll, I'll just take that key. Thank you. It's a blue key. Okay, I think you're up. Traveler's Diary. Those who desire passage across the treacherous lost desert seek only to court death, but a group of thieves, once managed away most clever, 
They would sing to themselves a song most peculiar. Sacred sons enter the sun, weathering sand, wielding sorcerers, slaying scimitars. Sacred sons in enter. Sacred sons enter withering sand. God damn it. Sacred sons enter sun, withered sand, wielding sorcerers, slaying scimitars. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so the scimitar is important. I yep. guess. Where is that scimitar? Oh, there's a saber. Uh, examine it. Yep. Curved sword. Whoa, whoa. Sturdy with a strong blade. No other explanation. Okay, yep. obviously we're gonna use this this thing right here. That's what I thought. You grab the loose tile and remove it from the wall easily. You place it on the ground nearby. Can I not just take it? What's this? Wait, is that a spell? Maybe? Description. Okay, yep. yeah, it is. Use the Rosetta Stone. Yep. You read the text. There is a sacred command used by thieves to cover their tracks. Use the words open sesame to enter hidden places, though sometimes the direct way may lead to death. You have learned the spell. Open sesame. Do you think, what does sesame mean? Like, I know that's from A Thousand and One Nights, right? It's gotta be. Yeah. Um. Can you check inside of that chalice? I can examine it, or open it. Do you open the chalice? You can't open that. Examine just- try and take it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, examine just says. You can't take that. What if oh, well. I talk to self? That's probably not a great idea. Oh, Let's talk to the chalice. Nope. No one listening. Oh, that makes me sadder. <laughs> I kind of wanted to take the... Um... No, I can't take the banner. Well, uh, we got two choices. I'm guessing Open Sesame will open that door of the uh, monastery. That's one. Yeah, or we could, could head be. to the south. What do you think? Into the desert. Uh, I feel like we're still not sure about the desert. Okay. Well, let's try and open up the monastery then. I mean, it, it could be as simple as go into the desert and do something with the sun coin and hey. the saber, but I'm just not sure. You know what just occurred to me? There's a we have a saber now. Oh, yeah. Try as you might, you cannot reach the fruit with the saber. Damn. All right, well, what if I use the Try saber? Try using the saber on the uh, trunk. Um, the sharp saber it takes several whacks to cut the bow from the tree. I now have a sacred bow. Petrified sturdy appendage of it. Oh, oh, this is how you get the bottle. Okay, this is how you get the bottle. Ah. Also, yep. I can use it for the fruit. It doesn't work, damn it. What is, wait, what is okay. this right here? Small pasture like, no, god damn it. All right, doesn't want me to. <laughs> yep. Let's use the bow on the bottle. That doesn't work, god damn it. What about on the water? Yeah. That doesn't work. Huh. What the fuck do I use it for then? I don't know. The spell didn't do anything, fuck. Dang. That was worth a try. Yep. Okay, so now that just leaves the desert. Okay. Huh. I could use the saber on myself. 
drive the sword into your chest and die instantly slumping to the ground. Well... This is the end for you. Yep. That didn't go the way I wanted it to. At all. Yeah. Okay, okay. You sing the sword... The Sorcerer Slaying Sword. What is the suns enter the suns? Ah. Uh, yep. I don't think I can even get inside of it right now. Oh, because it's night time. I guess it's still very nighttime. There it goes, it opens at six. Sacred suns enter sun. Oh, we can talk. We can talk to ourselves in the desert. How do you figure? Oh, Go into the oh, desert and then sing to ourselves. Talk to self. Yeah. Sacred suns enter suns. Withered sands, wilting sorcerers, slaying simtire. Sacred suns enter sun withered sands. Did I kill myself in the desert? Do you remember? No, you killed yourself at the foot. Just keep going west. Keep going west. Keep going west. Keep going west. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's talk to self. Not a great idea. Let's try using open sesame. Okay, I didn't think it would, but that's all right. What if, what if you talk to the desert then? There's no response. What were you expecting? To sing? What if we talk to the saber? Shout all you want, it's not accomplishing anything. I have an abacus now. Sacred bow. Oh, sacred bow. How much you need right now? Huh. Use this on the sacred bow. I want to use it on the saber. Okay, okay. So we're not using Apparently items on items. So you can't use items on items. Because otherwise it wouldn't allow me to do that. Or no, no. When you, what the fuck? All right, so. that that My guess is you, you don't use items on items here. It's, that's yeah. got to be it. Sacred Sons... Enter sun withered sands. Maybe I gotta do this in the morning? When the sun Maybe. is like in distance? Wielding swords. Wait, wait. Oh my god, I need to read it. Fucking hell, god, no, sh fuck, god. Alright, alright, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's annoying, especially if it's not morning anymore. And I have to wait again to get into that damn doorway I think it'll be open okay it is I think it's open I think it the sun is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. for the moon
Okay. Let me write this down. So, have you figured it out? No. Well, I'm just going to do it and you can see if... You can see if you can figure out what I'm doing. All right, there we go. Sacred Sons entering Sun Withered Sands wield Sorcerer Slaying Sword. I will need to save here. Because I'm not sure where the first one starts. I don't know if it starts here or once I'm in the desert. Oh, I see. Nice. No, it's it's wrong. Really? You've gone more than six. Okay, now I've messed up. I open path to me. I think it starts. Okay, it's got to start. It's got to start once you're in the desert, not before. Like is what what which is what I did. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. I was on the right track. Okay, now I got a pretty good idea how to do this. So let's see here. Sacred Suns Enter Sun Withered Sands Wielding Sorcerer Playing sword or saber. There it is. There's the other foot. Nice. Yep. And I got a, I got a achievement. I guess. I'll have to check yep. that out later. And now we just need to get the new spell. Another stone foot sits here, welcoming those from the desert. Such an odd landmark, but effective nonetheless. Yep. Let's use the Rosetta Stone on the sand. And we got a special song for it and everything. Okay, you read the text. Yeah, you read the text. Yes. This magic spell allows one to cross the desert in one giant step. However, beware, without the guidance of the giant's feet, you may be lost forever. You have learned the spell. Holy feed. I mean okay we've got options here all of a sudden no nope. the path turns green in this direction and leads away from the desert that sounds great the wonderful blue flowers sit alongside the short ridge along in the ground <laughs> a dense copse of trees, flowers, and cacti. This must be a rich feeding ground for predators. This in the ground. There are rinds and bits of eaten fruit left here in the ground. Take them? No. Okay. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh. A pair of menacing eyes peer out from the cave. Mountains of the small cave. Okay, this is probably where you use the fruit. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk to it. <laughs> You've disturbed the cave creature and it sees you as a perfect snack. That's a hell of a cave creature. Yeah. Well. 
Hey, don't don't do that. Vast open field that would feel calm if not for the gloomy air around this land. There's some loose dirt on the edge of the cliff. It could be moved with a shovel. Why would... what? Why would I want... what? Did I accidentally... no? Very narrow cliff Maybe side. Maybe treasure buried there. Maybe. You can see some of the desert far down below. You would fall. A fall would surely be deadly. You can smell the sea breeze, lush flowers. In such a doomed land, you're glad to see that nature can thrive. Also, I, I think I see some more loose dirt. Yeah, there's some loose dirt. Nope. Huh. The statue of Shah, the statue of the Shah, is loosely gripping a pole arm in hand. Seemingly vacant structure guarded by a statue of the Shah. What is a Shah? Like a king. Oh. Um, I forgot what was protecting this to the south, right? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, there was some sort of some sort of guardian that was interested in some sort of jewel. Nothing happened. Okay, just checking. So what do I got? Yeah. I've got a sun coin. I can give him a sun coin. You want a sun coin, buddy? Bribe the statue. It doesn't work. Uh, it'll be oh. seven o'clock here in a second, which will be sunrise. So if I move and then come back. There's the sun. But not now, huh? And we'll come back to this. Oh well. Ooh. Neat. There's a dock here. It looks like it was once used by both merchants and ferrymen for passage to the palace. I guess that's the palace across the way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, sure. As soon as you get near the edge of the dock, a giant croc pounces from the water and bites with its massive jaw. In one quick motion, yep. you are pulled into the water and eaten in seconds. The adventure has come it to us. the terrifying, badly CGI'd croc. <laughs> the, the bad CGI croc. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's just floating there. <laughs> oh, my God. It really is a bad CGI croc. Jesus Christ. All right. Um... So dumb. Yeah. Um, huh. Let's see what else we can do here. What if we go north of here? That is that the obelisk? Maybe if we pray that to the does obelisk. Look like it. Maybe if we pray to the obelisk, it'll forgive us. A large tower resting on a plateau, there's a worn path leading to its base. Oh. Okay, this has got to be open sesame time. First, first I'll examine it. The large boulder yep. blocking the cave entrance. It is not possible to move by hand. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We know the stories. You speak the magic words and the rock magically rises into the air. Okay, I feel like this is yep. a good time for a uh, stretch and hydrate break. H how are you feeling, yep. Doomlad? No, I'm feeling good. You up for one more hour of this tonight? Yeah, sure. Okay, and then we'll call it a night, because I'm not up for two more hours. All right, cool. Yeah. Let me switch to the break screen, and then, yeah, everybody stretch and hydrate. <laughs>